All right, guys. Today we have something different. I have a new battery, the anti-gravity batteries. Um, I've heard good things about these things, and we're gonna try it out and see what the comparison is between the stock battery that comes in it and this one. So the reaction time between when you hit the start button for the stock time and the start button for the anti-gravity battery is gonna be a big difference. So I'm gonna time the comparisons. All right, so here's the stock battery. We're gonna see if we can get it to be as accurate as possible, but here's the start time. So it's probably a little less than that, probably 1.5. I'll try it again just to see where we're at. So it's about a second. Now we're gonna throw the anti-gravity battery in and we're gonna see where we're at with that. So the battery is installed. Um, this foam piece came in the package. It's basically a piece that you put anywhere you have extra space. Like for me, it was under the strap. Because if you didn't have that there, the strap would just be bouncing around and come off and the battery would come loose. And then you got a whole mess of problems. But we're gonna do the comparison on how fast it starts up versus the stock battery now. And let's see. So I can't time it that fast and do everything all at once, but it is definitely faster. It's probably like, honestly, it's probably like half the time than, than the stock battery that comes in it. So the nice thing about these anti-gravity batteries, says it on the package, they are eco-friendly. So it doesn't contain lead or acid, which means there's no chemicals in there, which is nice. Long life, it lasts two times more than the regular lead acid batteries. So. Basically, I'm gonna have this battery in there forever. The low self discharge. So basically, if you, let's say this was an enduro bike and I'd have lights on it or something, if I left the lights on, it would save, like it would save enough of the battery juice, whatever you wanna call it, to start itself back up. So if you're stranded somewhere, so you won't get stranded somewhere basically. So, and then it says it's up to 70% weight savings. It is definitely a lot lighter than the stock battery. I mean, granted this thing is a bit heftier, a bit bigger, but it's still pretty light. Like it's not, it's not terrible, but obviously that's lighter, so. So yeah, hopefully this will help me uh, get better starts at J-Day this year. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care. I'm not, you know, I'm not competitive about it, but I've heard a lot of good things about these batteries. A lot of like the pro guys or the upper, upper level guys run those. Um, we'll see how it goes this year. I don't think I should have any problems with it, but thanks for checking this video out. Subscribe for me, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one.